Severe weather obviously left behind a lot of widespread damage. Our Frances Lynn was in Hartville where heavy winds have knocked down a store there. She's back to tell us more. Frances. Yeah, David and Heather, I was at the town and country supermarket where there was severe storm damage to the store. I spoke to the store manager and owners about what happened. The entire entrance of the supermarket destroyed. The units from the rooftops are off, so there's holes in the roof, so there's rain coming inside. This is a pretty new store for us, so something like this to happen was kind of, you know, crazy. We couldn't believe it. Store manager Josh Duggar says there were around 25 people in the store at the time the storm hit. When we found out it was coming, we got all the employees and customers in our produce cooler and uh, we kind of watched for it, got everybody in there. Then right before it hit, we, we made it in there and shut the door and we waited till it was done. He told me about the employees and customers experiences. And it actually hit hard and it popped all of our ears and then we made it in there. We could hear it whining outside. And, uh, you know, we, you know, within a couple of minutes, it was all over, but we could hear stuff hitting, at, you know, outside the store. Duggar said they were in the cooler for about 10 minutes. We didn't get any service in our cooler, so we couldn't call anybody. Everybody was worried and couldn't get hold of any of their family or anything. So they were scared, you know. Yeah, there was, I mean, everybody was scared, but there wasn't much we could do except sit there and wait. Fortunately, nobody was hurt and everyone got out okay. First thing we did is we came out and, uh, uh, into the store, the ceiling had fallen in, uh, there was rain coming in, everything was wet. Store owner Joe Palizzi told me their immediate next steps. The very first thing we need to do is get this stuff removed and get the building boarded up. And what nearby residents can do when they need to get groceries. Well, we've got our Mansfield Town & Country uh, down the road there in Mansfield, which is where they shop for those who remember when this store burned down eight or nine years ago now. Um, they'll take good care of them over there until we can get reopened here. Their top priority is to get rid of the debris. They already called their insurance company and they just need to assess the damage.